part of, part of, part of it is, and, and this is from a union organizer, the most effective form of organizing is, is what we call on the shop floor. It's just people talking to people about their lives, the issues, the workplace, okay? You can have as many flyers as you want, you can do as much of that stuff. That, in the, in the end, doesn't change people's way. It's that face-to-face. -face. What I told them at the last General Federal Assembly is that if everybody leaves and brings one more person to them next time, okay, we've doubled our numbers. Okay. And how hard can it be to, you know, go talk to one of your friends to just, just come, participate? But that's something, oh, sorry. No, but uh, we, 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 need, we, need, we need to do some community outreach. Right. And okay. you, what you do is you go to the, the, the communities, you, you go to the, the place where they gather in, in their community. And unfortunately, in my mind, that's it, church. So, <laughs> um, now to find a church that's going to be receptive to your message. Uh, Unitarian, so, yeah. Oh, that's I know, I know they're out there. Me too. Okay. And, okay, and this is separate from this, but labor, labor, labor since we're fighting for our survival, we, we understand we have to go back to doing what we used to do really well, which is organized at the grassroots level. We're going to be doing that anyway. Okay. But I think, and this is my personal, this is not a labor position, my personal position is that even though I'm going to work on that for labor, I think the real form for, for churches, the minority communities, is here. Right. Okay. One, one thought I had is um, if, we, if we are a bunch of people who are sort of thinkers, people who are really thinking deeply about the problem, Paying attention to, the, to the, what's going on in the world and really trying to figure out what's, what the root cause is. A lot of us here are in that group, okay? But if the, we need our group, this should be a committee meeting, right? We want a larger group that includes mostly people who are just average people who. who well, yeah, and I, I'll take exception because not all of us are. <laughs> some, some of them, some of Maybe us are just surprised. action team. You do what you do, you have to think, you have to think about it seriously. Well, I, I do think, but, but, but I'm much, more, I'd much rather be doing Right, but there's a lot of strategy that yes. goes through. Yes, there is. Well, I, I, I think, uh, well, to do things, we are talking about reaching out to church. There is, uh, there's a uh, reference, uh, Gary McCaslin. Um, he's on the Facebook page. Uh, he is a very progressive uh, person. Uh, he has been part of uh, Peaceful Gatherings uh, group, and they're just starting up again. Uh, they have, um, they, they had the, when, when was it? When, when was it? December 5th or something. December 5th, yeah. yeah. Um, and they plan to have more in the new year. Um, I was there, uh, Paolo was there, and we spoke, uh, Mike, uh, Michael was there, and we spoke about the, um, the Occupy Movement. And there were you know, new people there that were not here, but we were able to have a, a, a discussion of it. And I think that's that. I think is the the opening that maybe you were talking about of, of going of expanding beyond well, social media. Well, what 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 I can I can try to help you. With. My original thoughts about coming here was to <coughs> move a little past the talking point start doing some real, when I say actions, it's not actions, to start doing something that's going to bring movement. Okay, one would be the communication committee, two would be the action committee, and three would be, a, for lack of a better word, community outreach. That's a perfect word. group of people that are dedicated to making some of these contacts to, to try to expand the 
numbers of people that are coming to the fall. At this point, too, it would be fine if, if uh, all three of those committees were even the same people. It's just been out there for days. You know, like, just have people, a, a group of people who are willing to sit down and, and at a table and discuss this for two hours or so and put together some type of plans or something more tangible than, you know, the kind of ideas that. It, 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 Everything it, has to come back to the general assembly. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I agree with them, but I think that uh, with that happening, the general assembly would be more productive. Because right now, the, the general assembly is a random assortment of ideas. And I think that most of people are, are trying to uh, move beyond. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I agree with them. And, and I, I think it would be good if we have some people that can sit there and figure out what's the best move to move forward and then put it into actual action. We'll bring it back to the General Assembly for discussion and then implement But at least there is something structured where, where, where this session is not so much the initial brainstorming session, but more of like the consensus session. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I like to get to that point. Right. Well, I, I think we're, we're kind of slowly coalescing around what we would like to see as, as working groups. Uh, media action, more outward direct action, uh, outreach, and I would add policy. Uh, the idea is, you know, uh, the, this, uh, let me, let me, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, the you know the Occupy movement is very good at saying there is something wrong with the situation. And at, a certain, at, at some point, the movement overall has got to figure out what, what concrete solutions do they want to pro, do they want to occur? Not only uh, solutions that nobody are, is talking about, but maybe solutions that are just starting to be talked about and need to be put into the center of the of the discussion. Um, a great I just wrote about this very recently. A great example is, is just after the uh, economic meltdown. Uh, there was a, a private movement in Iceland to have a shadow parliament where they were able to kind of start talking about what do we want to get done to fix the problem. And even though it was a private organization, it was outside the government, as the government started to shift and things started to, because some interesting things are going on in Iceland in reaction to, to what's been going on. Uh, the, the ideas that start out in this, in this shadow parliament have filtered in through new candidates, new parties, and so, you know, to the, the idea of formulating solutions in, specific, in terms of specific policy, I think, is also important. Okay, let's see. As far as policy, Goes. I don't disagree with the concept. But what I what I personally feel is I feel there's a lot of voices that are missing from the table. Before you formulate policy, I want to hear from some of the other communities that exist here, the minority community, mm -hmm. the religious community. Okay, you know, I mean. We have huge numbers of disabled. Right. Oh yeah. Okay, and 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 and. and before you formulate your policies, I want their voices at the table. I mean, that's my personal view. My, my thought about that is that we should look at this group that's here tonight, or was, was here the last time. I wasn't, but. Um, and look at ourselves as each one of us should go out and look, that, that should be our primary focus right now, is outreach. We should have, we should have uh, a couple hundred people instead of this. That would be a good start. A that, that, would be, that, that would be a good, that would be a good start. Diversity. Okay. I agree. And I think that, you know, talking about it is awesome. Educating each other is important. That comes, you know, that's, that's the first thing. That's the, the basis. But we have, we, a lot of us are pretty educated. We know a little bit. We need to get out there more. But I think we also need to have more actions. I think we need to go out there and help out at the food bank. We need to go out there and volunteer and help out people. We need to you know, be the change we want to see in the world a little bit more too. Yeah. Right. If, I really if, if, if we can expand and bring in the multiple voices from the people that live here, mm -hmm. I think, uh, okay, but I think you're going to hear at some point the discussion turns to 
what can we do at a local level to affect change? Yeah, the one step one. Okay, but, but my, my whole thing is until you hear from the people that are overlooked most of the time, the people that never have had a real voice, okay, you know, let's get them to the table and, let, and hear from them what will make a difference in their lives. Okay, I mean, it, again, that's, that's, hear people's stories. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I, I think, though, that, you know, what I said before about uh, any organization being more functional when it has measurable goals, you know, that, that doesn't mean that it's the overall end goal. It's more of like the short-term sequential goals to make that end goal. What you're talking about with outreach is something that we can turn into a short-term measurable goal. But, you know, I don't think you're ready to have, I mean, you've got to build, like, the, the economic democracy, that's a prime no, no. idea. I know. But, uh, oh, I, I feel, there are just enough people you've got to yeah, we're gonna go to just take care of it. And then that's done. Just give me a minute. I'm saying Expand the core, I mean, there are just not enough people here. You know, um, well, that's what and, we're talking about. Yeah, and I think we need to remember that, it, you know, it's two days after Christmas. I think this might be like the last day of Hanukkah. You know, a lot of people, I just came back from Dallas visiting my family. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to realize that this is not representing everybody at, I, at the ideal amount of people. You have a purpose, you have to have And that goes against their own personal welfare. And I think it's more exactly, yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. And that's why I keep coming back to, like, I think maybe here, all over, people are getting kind of drunk off themselves and thinking we're a little closer to criminal compliance than we are. And that's why I think this idea of outreach is that should be the goal. I agree. That should be the goal. I personally, trust me, I would love to see like a general strike in my uh, yeah. in the next okay. year of my yeah. lifetime. Yeah. But but I should buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, no, but, no, but I don't think we have I don't, especially around here. No, I and I think education and outreach is where where the goal is. Yeah, I I I, 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 I I think and maybe we can come to some consensus yes. on, on this. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I think we need to focus on outreach and expanding our numbers and widening the debate by bringing in a diversity of people. I, I think what's been happening here a lot is that all of us kind of do essentially agree on, on the main issues and we keep taking turns articulating it in, in, in different ways, right? Um, I think we're a lot closer to consensus than we might realize. We agree that uh, we agree on the main fundamental issues the overarching, more conceptual issues of what the problems are. 
and we agree that in, in terms of a short term way in which we can affect things, that outreach and awareness are probably priority number one. Pretty much everybody here agrees with that, right? right. Um, so, that, so that how do we move forward like with that? A questionnaire that would be like on Facebook, maybe in the mm -hmm. paper, and then you could have Tool now to go out and speak. 